hey guys welcome back once again and first of all thanks for subscribing my channel this is a small announcement on the new azure batch which i'm going to start from 15th of november and it will be on morning 6 30 to 8 o'clock so let's quickly check the details over here go to cloudtraining.in new batch under azure right so in this training i will try to cover az 900 which is fundamentals and AZ104, which is an administration and AZ303, which is an architect. So apart from that, we will try to cover a couple of uh, real time scenarios or uh, use cases and frequently asked uh, uh, in terms of uh, real time experience perspective, what we do in, a, in our day to day. So we try to cover a couple of things based on that. So uh, as I said, timing is 15 November from morning 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Right. You guys can directly join from this uh, WebEx link and I'll share all the details if you can ping me on WhatsApp on this number or you can drop me an email right? and the training goes for two months roughly around uh, 40 to 45 hours session daily one hour 30 minutes right? and the prerequisites are pretty simple either you must know a Windows or Linux basic operating system administration skills are required here to start with the Azure administration and architect part fees as i mentioned it's 12000 that you can pay in two installments initially uh, when we start the sessions and once the half of the course is done right. you guys can join the uh, whatsapp group to communicate quickly or you can share the uh, session details over there okay. so try please refer the couple of previous demo sessions which i uploaded on the youtube also you can go to youtube and check the playlist so you'll have some of the azure playlists already updated right and Let's quickly check the course content. So we'll start the fundamentals. We'll not spend much time on what is Azure, what is cloud, or where, what is your IS, PaaS, SaaS, and all those things. We'll try and give you a high level overview on that. And then we'll jump on to infrastructure administration part, which is 104. In that, we will try to cover Azure networking part You'll see a couple of components mentioned here in the course content. And it'll take around uh, eight to ten sessions roughly to cover all the networking part. Once the networking is done, we'll talk about virtual machines and then storage. So, server, storage, network. Once that is done, we will go to backup and recovery, okay, data protection and backup and recovery. And then we will talk about databases. You'll see SQL, NoSQL, how we can do the migration and stuff. And then your pass components, one of the other pass component is your Azure App Services. And then coming to security, we talk about Active Directory and Azure Based Management and then automation. Moving on to microservices and containers world, we'll try to give you an overview on Docker and Kubernetes within the same session. So please note, it's an overview session of the Docker or Kubernetes training. Okay? And monitoring and reporting and analytics in Azure, how we can perform. Apart from that, as I mentioned, we'll talk about Packer and Terraform, which is a completely out of scope Azure training, and we'll try and cover within the Azure considering the real-time scenarios. Right? And we will t spend some time on AZ400 course as well, so Azure DevOps. We'll see how we can deploy the things using Azure DevOps into Azure, uh, uh, putting a stack together, how we can perform the IAC deployments, all those things. And we'll give you functional logic apps, which is equivalent to your Lambda and other stuff in the AWS, if you have familiar with the AWS skill sets, right? And then migrate, billing, optimization, cost management, other stuff. and Finally, we'll see how uh, exams can be cracked in, in terms of administration, architect, and Azure DevOps. Right? And I have seen a request from people on uh, data engineering right, and the data analytics side, uh, IoT and data analytics side, which I am currently not working on. I don't have any prior experience on that. So apologies, I can't really help you with the data engineering stuff over here. So whatever the contents that I mentioned, we will try and cover and we'll try to add a new content or additional content related to infrastructure, not related to data engineering, that's what I would say, right? So with this, I'll stop here and I'll see you on training. Thank you, guys.